Example 4, we're going to use the rational zero test, and our leading co coefficient is not 1. So we're going to find the rational zeros of f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 3. So we need to list the possible rational roots first. So what we do is we think about the p over q, or I like to think about it as back over front, because I, I, I remember that more than the p and q. So back, our constant is 3, and the leading coefficient is 2. Factors of 3 are 1 and 3, and factors of 2 are 1 and 2. So what we do is we first start with the 1 on the numerator, and we have to group it with the 1 and the 2 in the denominator. So we can have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1 half. Then we do the same thing with 3. So it goes to the 1 and the 2. So the possibilities are plus or minus 3 and plus or minus 3 over 2. So let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and try 1. So see if that works. So 2, 3, negative 8, and 3. We know it works when we get a 0 in the remainder. So this is 2, 5, negative 3, negative 3, and 0. Yay, it worked. So x minus 1 times 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Then we see if this is factorable, and that is. So 2x will multiply to negative 6. It adds to 5. So that is 6 and minus 1. So positive 3. And so our zeros are at x equals negative 3. 1 half and 1. So let's go ahead and try this example up here. Pause the video and try it out. List the possible rational roots first and then try this out. So if you tried this out, you would have gotten x equals negative 3, 1 half and 2. Let's try another example solving a polynomial equation. Find all real solutions of negative 10x cubed plus 15x squared plus 16x minus 12. So let's list all the possible roots. So in the numerator, that would be 12, and then the denominator would be 10. So let's see, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 6, and plus or minus 12. All over plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 10. So there are quite a few of these. A, a suggestion that the book offered was to sketch the graph and to see if you can you know, try to approximate some of these values. So in this case, um, there are 32 possibilities, but let's go ahead and try x equals 2. So that works, so we can say x minus 2 times negative 10x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And we notice that this actually is not factorable. So what other options do we have if it's not factorable? Well, we have to use a quadratic formula. So please use the quadratic formula for here. You'll have to use a calculator to find those values. But go ahead and pause the video and try it out.
So if you tried this out, you would have gotten 5 plus or minus the square root of 265 over negative 20. Then you have to use a calculator to figure the rest out. So we find out that x is 2, negative 1.0639, and 0 0.5639. So go ahead and try this example here. Pause the video, and when you come back, I'll have the answer for you. So if you try this out, you would have listed the factors, and then you had 3 plus or minus square root of 153 over negative 4, and then you have to solve for it. Then you find out the factors are x equals negative 1, x equals negative 3.8423, and x equals 2.3423. So I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.